हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल विश यू ऑल अ वेरी हैप्पी गणेश चतुर्थी टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट हाउ वी सेलिब्रेट गणेश चतुर्थी हियर इन मेक्सिको एंड दिस इज हाउ वी हैव बीन सेलिब्रेटिंग फॉर द लास्ट नाइन इयर्स एंड फॉर द व्यूअर्स हु डोंट नो व्हाट इज गणेश चतुर्थी बेसिकली इट्स अ ग्रैंड हिंदू फेस्टिवल ऑफ लॉर्ड गणेश इट्स हिज बर्थडे सो वी सीक हिज ब्लेसिंग ऑन दिस डे एंड लॉर्ड गणेश इज कंसिडर्ड एज गॉड ऑफ wealth knowledge and prosperity and also the one who removes the obstacles on our way so we hindus usually pray and seek his blessings uh, before starting anything auspicious so i'll tell you more about it while i'm showing you the video the main thing about ganesh chaturthi is the decoration of the place where we are going to keep the lord ganesha so i brought some decoration things from parisina which is the store from where we get these things and i started the previous day to make a throne for lord ganesha to keep the clay uh, idol so here i'm trying to make one by looking at youtube videos i'm not a very creative person but i can make things by looking at a video or some instructions on ganesh chaturthi we bring home an idol of Ga lord ganesha made out of clay or mud in india during this time many local uh, craftsmen make idols of uh, clay or mud and it is sold everywhere but since we are in mexico and we don't find them my husband every year prepares it with the play dough or the dough that we get here so before bringing the idol home we have to prepare a place to keep the idol uh, some people keep it in the puja room uh, where they worship every day or they have a special place uh, prepared with all the decorations and that's where we install the god and the decorations are usually with flowers fruits or lights and here in mexico most of the festivals we don't even get the feel of a festival because we don't get many things here and we don't have a big indian community too so i like to do these things a couple of days before the festival just to get the feel of it so i i like to make most of the things at home and this year since i'm not working i have enough time in hand and i'm trying to do most of the things by myself and thanks to these youtube videos which really helped me to do these creative things so here i'm al almost done with my throne work i will show you how it's going to look at the end uh, this is going to be th the base uh, here i'm using red and pink to cover up the box and the shiny texture gives a really beautiful look at the end as i had mentioned in my introduction video i grew up in hyderabad but i am basically uh, from kerala probably that's why my celebrations have both the styles both from hyderabad and as well as kerala so here i am almost done with the uh, throne this is how it finally looked especially the base and then this will go at the back and that's the final look i was really happy and proud of myself for making this my kids usually love to do these kinds of things but now that the school has started they are busy with their work but still alekia helped me to make these paper flowers uh, which i used uh, to keep on the walls and i think they came out really good and later i went to the supermarket to pick up some flowers fruits and uh, coconut i didn't go to the local market this time to bring flowers because as i mentioned earlier it's quite far and uh, we are lucky that we get coconuts here in mexico so for all the festivals i definitely take fresh coconuts from the supermarket and of course fresh fruits and the day before the ganesh chaturthi my husband makes the clay idol of ganesha and he's kind of become an expert in this because he's been making this for last so many years and this is how it looked a little ganesha the only problem of making uh, ganesh idol with this kind of clay is it takes more time to melt in the water when we do the visarjan visarjan is the procedure that we do after worshiping the idol we have to immerse the idol into a river or a pond but in order to avoid contamination we have started immersing it in a bucket of uh, water and that's what we do here in mexico too and it takes a lot of time to melt 
So here I'm trying, I'm decorating the place where we are going to keep the idol the next day. That is on the Ganesh Chaturthi day. And this is how it looked the previous night. And on Ganesh Chaturthi, early morning, we wake up, take bath and then start doing prasad, the offerings that we have to give to the God. So here I'm making uh, three to four uh, different varieties to offer to the God. This is sweet pungal, basically a dish with rice, yellow lentils and jaggery. And at the end, we will uh, season it with some cashew nuts and clarified butter. Next, I prepared modak. This is considered to be Ganesha's favorite food. That's why I prepared this for sure. And uh, the stuffing inside goes with jaggery and coconut. And I also made some tamarind rice. As I told you, I'm from Hyderabad, so tamarind rice is a must for this festival. And that's the mixture of rice and hot water for the modak. And here I'm preparing the modak. Uh, I don't have a modak mold. That's why I'm doing it by hand. Hence, my modaks are not perfect to look at. But yes, they have the shape. I'm pressing the rice flour between my hands and then stuffing it inside with coconut and jaggery and covering it from all the sides. And then we steam this for around 5 to 10 minutes and that's it. Modak is ready. I also made another dish with white chana or chickpeas which we also get here in the local market basically with all seasonings little coconut and uh, boiled chickpeas. Uh, this is another dish which I prepare every Ganesh Chaturthi. And once I finish making all the prasad uh, now we get ready to start the prayers and start the puja. So here you can see we have kept all the flowers, fruits and the offerings and now we keep the Ganesh idol on the uh, top of the throne. We do the Ganesh Chaturthi Puja only for one day. So morning and evening we offer the prayers and then evening we do the Visarjan. So this is the morning puja that we are doing. And since it was a weekday, uh, obviously my kids were in school. Uh, they had school and they could not at attend the morning puja. But they were there for the evening puja. So in the morning, only me and my husband did the offerings. After the morning puja, now is the preparations for the evening puja. So here I am making prashad for the evening puja. This is again modak with the rice flour but this is not sweet, this is savory. So this is with all uh, green chili curry leaves and all the temperings. We usually uh, make the powder from the rice and then steam it again for 10 to 15 minutes. I also m prepared uniyappam. Uh, this is a dish from Kerala. As I told you, I am from both the states, so I have a mix of both the uh, dishes. So this was the prashad that I prepared for the evening. And this is uh, the black chana. The same way that I pr prepared the white one, I make the black chana too. And for the evening puja, kids obviously joined us because they were back from school. So they took bath and they were ready to attend the puja for the evening. And we offer all the prashad that we make. And <laughs> Rocky obviously joins us when everybody is together. He thinks that something fun is happening and he also joins us. And now is the time uh, for Visarjan. Uh, that is immersing the idol into the river or pond. Or if you are at home, you immerse it in a bucket of water. Uh, for people who don't know what, uh, why we do the Visarjan, it's basically uh, sending the God back to his abode. Or we could say that he's taking all our uh, problems or sorrows along with him. And here are a few photos of Rocky and me. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe if you do. 
and i'll see you in the next one bye